Medicare bill, some want Washington to focus next on immigration reform. And hundreds of them marched in San Francisco this evening to raise awareness and to apply pressure. ABC 7's Carolyn Tyler is here. Carolyn, a lot of activists feel the health care issue pushed immigration out of the spotlight. That's right, Dan, and they want to bring the issue back into focus. By the busloads they came from Santa Rosa, San Jose, Berkeley, really all over the Bay Area, demanding that Congress and the President get moving on an immigration overhaul. These immigration advocates say it's time for reform. This father of four lives in Fremont and is in the country illegally. I had to deal with, you know, not having a license, not having a social security number, not having um, the papers that allow me to work. It's estimated there are at least 12 million illegal immigrants in the U.S. President Obama has vowed to fix what he describes as a broken system. These protesters are growing impatient. All my children, they from here and um, you know it's very important for me to have some papers the demonstrators are calling for everything from amnesty to reunification of families who've been separated by immigration backlogs but there is heated opposition anything that allows illegal aliens to stay in our country is a slap in the face to legal immigrants who have the honor to obey our laws and to come here the right way but some in this crowd see the battle as the new civil rights issue. Everyone should take part in regardless of their race, creed, or citizenship. The demonstrators targeted Senator Dianne Feinstein's office because she sits on the subcommittee on immigration. Her office released a statement pointing out that the senator supports reform and has introduced a bill for agriculture workers and employers to find work legally. But critics say given the recession, President Obama should make sure all jobs go to citizens. So he cannot really save jobs for Americans unless he enact some sort of immigration moratorium. These families, they contribute every day uh, with, uh, with taxes. They are no criminals. A new poll out tonight by the Public Policy Institute of California indicates most Californians, 70 percent, support allowing illegal immigrants who've lived and worked in the country for at least two years to keep their jobs and eventually apply for legal status. Carolyn? Carolyn Tyler reporting.